Hey guys, Salem here, and welcome back to another episode of Pony Paradise with myself and Miss Amy Lee 33. That's me! I love that sunshine in this texture packet. Every time I look ah, at it, it makes me smile. I know, it's so super cute, isn't it? Look at it. Uh, why can't it be like that in all Minecraft? Oh no, it's so pretty and pretty and relaxing. And Anyway, what are you building today? I'm going to continue building my beach and put some cuteness in there and stuff. What are you going to do? I'm going to build a go kart track. Oh, actually, I want to see your carousel. Can you show oh, it to really? me? Oh, really? Yeah. Sure about that? Yeah. Sure? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Seriously, what is with the snow? Oh my gosh. I cannot even right now uh, with the snow, though. Alright, follow this path around over okay. here because this is where the stuff is. It's over by Big Blue. Big Blue? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is your like fun fair. Yeah, area. I'm gonna change the carousel just a little bit another day. It's uh, I don't like the way it connects at the top, so I'm gonna like just not connect. Oh, this is it. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, but I, I don't. I like it. I don't like the top because it looks a bit like the connections. You need the... to put pictures in here though. It's really weird. Pictures. Yeah. They were like it's is... like. Um, yeah, good point, actually. That's good. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Like, you um, can take my picture, a souvenir shot. <laughs> actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, I need my lollipop. Say cheese. Say cheese. Cheese, vegan cheese. Yay. Yeah. There, there we go. Yes, um... I like it. Actually, it's pretty good. Imagination, children. Imagination. Yes, yeah. I'll put some pictures in there another day, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that red one with my lovely chubby, that's mine. I call her uh, Rosie. So this go-kart track's going to be, like, quite long. Um, do you have any... Are you going to make yours into, like, a little, a little hotel next to your beach? No, I'm just going to make it, like, a relaxing, like, just a little beach corner, like, where we can go and chill out if the day gets hard, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so let me put some, like, beach towels down. Now, you like blue, don't you? So I'm going to put some blue colours for you. Um, okay, red and white track. Your beach towel can go right here. And then I'm gonna go next to you and have a nice pink one. Actually, actually, actually. Yeah. Do what? Actually, what? No, don't. Don't worry about it. Don't okay. even worry about it. Not even something. To talk about. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, let's get some green. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, beach towels. Beach Why am towels. I'm so excited about beach towels. <laughs> oh, thank you. They do look adorbs though, I've got to say. Right, so now we can make some, like, umbrellas. Um, well, I think... You think? Yeah, I think that... I don't even know, like... It's gonna be okay, this track, but... At the same time, it might be a bit, like... I don't know, because it doesn't connect properly. Do you know, like, when we had that problem with the bridge and it just doesn't connect? Like, it connects in random places. Mm-hmm. I think mm -hmm. we're gonna have that problem. Stop! Oh. Connect in to the wrong place. <laughs> Seriously. Now, how on earth do we do an umbrella? Hmm. Okay. So it's gonna have to look like a um, a giant flower. Easy. Easy. <laughs> well, I guess there we go. There is that way to do it. Yeah. No, that looks sweet. I like it a lot. Uh, what have you been up to anyway? Um, I've been up to lots and lots of stuff. We had um, insomnia. Ah, oh, that was so. Not much the fun. illness. No, not, not the that problem. was so much fun. The the convention that was I great. It. I love it. Yeah, mm, I'm back to London tomorrow. Yeah, you live in London. You may as well I... get like a second apartment in London. Seriously. I've been thinking about. It. I've been looking, but the prices are extortionate. Oh gosh, yeah. That... How do people afford to live in London? Uh, that's it. Nobody could afford to live in London. It's so expensive. I need some brown wool. Um. um some... It's a really hot day today and my fingers are really sticky. That's really good to know. Well, it's really annoying because I'm trying Absolutely. to click things and it's like just not clicking and it's really annoying. Just okay. so that you know, just, you know what? Sharing is caring. Okay, whatever you say, I guess. Um, actually, <laughs> no, I'm going to use um, wood. Spruce wood. I'm not going to use that. What's wrong with uh, jungle wood? I'm making palm trees. Oh, are they not jungle enough? I don't know. Maybe. 
I think they've got a bit more of a texture, haven't they? Yeah, oh, criminy, how on earth do you make a palm tree? Oh, uh, I like, I don't know, tree. just do it and then, like... Uh, like, oh, spike it out at the top, I guess. Oh, wow, I've never in my life made a palm tree. This is going to be catastrophic. We need some palm trees in Team Pink. We do. Here's okay, all right, I'm going with my imagination. That's fine. Imagination. Your imagination's better than mine anyway, so... Imagination. Um, what have you been up to? Oh, like getting back, everything's kind of going back to normal for me now, like school and um, boring stuff and... You're in uh, school? Yeah, but no. do you know, I'm so looking forward to my invention. Yeah, that's some coming up real so shortly. Too bad. Like, yeah. I've been looking forward to it the whole year and there's so many of you going, it's like... Wow, it's like probably going to be my biggest one so far. I think it's apart from Minecon, um, that is, yeah, it's going to be huge. Really. Minecon though. Minecon was incredible. Oh, Minecon was bay. I might make like a little um, watermelon place. Because like, I always remember when I went to Spain or, well, no, I went to Mallorca, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, when we were sitting on the beach and this guy would like walk around like selling like really fresh watermelon and coconut and stuff and it was so yummy and not the ones that like wanted like fifty dollars for one no yeah you know these guys and they'd be on the beach and sell you like jewelry and stuff and it's like worth two dollars and they're trying to charge you like forty dollars for a bit of jewelry heck yeah i remember those people crazy crazy i just love that like they're, they're doing a really bad thing, but the confidence they've got is kind of weird. Like, weirdly kind of... I don't know. It's, it's a strange one. Yeah. Like, oh, man. I need to... I had this friend. Um, I worked at this um, restaurant. Mm -hmm. And um, I had this friend, and he was, he was a legend. I'm not going to say his name because of privacy, but he was, <laughs> he was about 50 years old, right? And he lived a life of, like so many amazing adventures like i just can't even put into words like his life sorry he lived he was homeless for a long time right and he lived in an airport for two years really in yeah. an airport in an airport he like used the bathroom oh, like homeless yeah yeah right and, like he would like you know like beg for money and stuff and um he yeah he lived in an airport for two years and then he lived on a beach for like six months how do you live on a beach? I don't even know, but he would tell me like when in the get... UK. Yeah, I I think it's the UK. Yeah. Jeez. This is like in the seventies. He 70s. must have froze though. Seriously. He was old. Well, like he's old now. Um, oh criminy. And then um, he would tell me like ways of how he'd make money, and he would like you know he'd beg for money, and then he'd go to like a store, and he'd buy the cheapest like bottle of wine or something, and some like a big bucket of ice and like some cheap wine glasses. And then in the summer, like on the beach, he'd go around to everybody and be like, like to couples, and he'd be like, How about a nice fancy glass of like champagne for your <laughs> lovely wife? And then like the guys would be like, Oh, that'd be great. Like, so he'd buy like a five pound bottle of like wine and sell a glass for like four pounds or something, and he'd make wow. so much money. But he was a genius, and like, um, you know, he, he got some help and he wasn't homeless anymore, and then like he got this job, and that's like when I met him at this restaurant. And he'd tell me his stories, and they just make me laugh so much. I'm like, how did you live like that? It's crazy. Yeah, that is incredible. I like it, though. I like his story. And, like, like he'd been working at the restaurant, like, years. Like, way, like, years before I even was born, I think. But um, he said for his job interview, he, like, walked, um, I think it was the equivalent of, like... I think it was Great Yarmouth to where it was. You know how the far that is. Yeah. So he walked all that way to get to the job interview. Wow, he definitely deserved that job. He, and he, I tell you what, everyone loves him. He, he sounds absolute, like a character. He really is, and he's got so many funny stories. And now, like, he's married, he has children. and Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, so he's, he's got a happy so ending. Funny. Oh, of course. That's really yeah, sweet. He was more like, you know, he didn't have any issues. He was just like um, like a hippie kind of guy, and he liked living freely and stuff like that. And yeah. Oh, I'm that's glad, really like, sweet, though. Yeah. It's really sweet that he has a nice little happy ending. I like funny people, nice people. He's great. And, like, we'd sit on, like, lunch break and I'd be like, 
tell me a story and he'd like tell me one of his stories and it'd just be completely unbelievable are you sure they were real yes no totally you met the guy you would know that they're real like he was so funny yeah living in an airport that was um yeah i've never heard of that before i've heard of it before like there's a movie about like in tom hanks he lived in an airport or something but like to actually meet someone who's he's lived there and are they like can, how did they how like how know. the people this was like the 70s do dude this is like when times were like a lot less strict and scary yeah i guess it was um so if yeah. you tried to live in an airport now you'd probably get in big trouble yeah probably but he was crazy i just loved his stories because they were just fascinating like you could write a book on his life <laughs> i would actually i would actually buy it yeah i think that sounds like something i would like to buy as well he was a good it's piece. Kind of crazy i need to think of something else to put on my beach i have like a little watermelon area crocodile uh, i don't think a crocodile would be that good i could do with maybe a shark just to scare everybody um what else do you have on a beach a dolphin i don't know if i can build a dolphin on this scale oh uh, I'm gonna have some deck chairs. Like, I actually put the word deck in. We don't deck, have deck chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I have to make them. And then some half slabs. Um, okay. Yeah. Maybe I can have like a, a little swimming pool. Because for whatever reason, when you're on the beach, there's sometimes a swimming pool nearby, even though there's a, a great big ocean. Yeah. I know that much. But I, and then the kids always want to go to the swimming pool as well. And it's like, seriously? <laughs> There's an ocean right there. You go to a, a swimming pool any day of the week. Uh, Alright, Tiho. Oh my gosh. Why did I decide to do a go-kart track? I don't even know. I could put the torches on the, on the top, but it just looks bad. It looks ugly. That's not very nice. They might have feelings, you know? I know. Sorry, Torch. I apologize. You, mean? <laughs> you do realize that it's just a torch. Everything in the world has feelings. That torch was once a tree, okay? Yeah, and if it was still a tree, I wouldn't be again grumpy with it. But it's not a tree anymore, it's a torch. Means. Uh, okay. Hmm, what else could I make here? Oh man. My palm tree does not look like a palm tree. I think it's an upside down palm tree, but it's oh, fine. Good. Don't worry about it. Imaginations, children. Um, hmm. What could I build on my beach? I'm trying to think what else you have on a beach. You could have um, a hut, a little tiny beach hut. Yeah, I could have a pier. Yes. You could have a pier. Okay, be a beach hut is oh, actually, like where yeah, you can get idea. your uh, deck chairs and stuff from. I could have the pier going near the post office, so then we could walk on the pier or go down on the beach. That's a really cool idea. Yes. Um, what about lights as well? They have like A lighthouse. You did a lighthouse. We did a, a lighthouse, lighthouse, I think. We did one together. Big Blue's a lighthouse, pretty much. Big Blue's a clock. Yeah, but he has lights all at the top. He kind of looks like a lighthouse. Yeah. I can maybe do a little ship over there. A little boat. That'd be good. Oh, true. I want to get rid of this ice, though. Ice, can you not even... I don't know why... I don't know why everything's all freezing and frozen. I have no idea. Yeah, it's yeah. just a bit silly. I love it. Oh, maybe a submarine. I don't know. There's lots of ideas. But we're going to have to wait till next episode. Because we've run out of time again. I lost track. It goes super, super quick when you're having it fun. It does, it really does. It's concentration, that's what it is, it's concentration. I'm talking about crazy men that live in airports. Yes, yes, I've not heard of that before, so that's enlightened my life. If anyone's <laughs> got any crazy stories like that, put it in the comments. If you know like someone who's led an amazing, crazy, out-of-this-world life, because yeah. he fascinates me. Every time I talk to him, I'm like, tell me another story. I love it. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You don't forget to check out um, both channels, guys, and remember that we love you. Love you much, Lee. Bye, Bye guys. guys.